you doing? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric Bravo and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of the 2D animation pipeline for a TV series. In case you're new to the channel, I created the Nickelodeon cartoon short The Outsiders and wrote the book How to Get an Animation Internship. Currently a PA script coordinator on the TV series Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I broke down the animation pipeline into 10 sections. In this video, I'm going to be going over the first five, which are uh, writing, record, boarding, animatics, and black and white design. So without further ado, let's get started. The animation pipeline for 2D shows start with the writing. The first step is to create a premise. A premise is no longer than a page and it summarizes the episode. It's basically a brief overview of what the episode will be about. Once the premise gets approved, we move on to the outline. In the outline, the writers write out each scene of the story into paragraphs. The outline is longer than a one-page premise, ranging anywhere between 5-10 to 10 pages, depending how detailed the outline needs to be. After the outline is approved, we move on to writing the actual script. The writers usually end up with four different drafts. First draft, second draft, locked draft, and shipping draft. The locked draft is a script locked to time. Let's say we're writing an 11-minute cart episode the lock draft should be cut down to the 11 minutes. The shipping draft of the script production will be sending out to the overseas studio. The overseas studio are the ones who will eventually be animating the episode. The writers won't get to the lock or shipping draft until later on in the pipeline. After we get the second draft of the script from the writers, production reads it over and starts to break down the episode. Breaking down a script is calling out each and every background, character, prop, and special pose so we can get a sense of how light or heavy an episode will be. As you'll learn later on in the pipeline, we launch the background, character, and prop designers with this breakdown. If writing sounds interesting to you, I'd recommend reading the book How to Write for Animation by Jeffrey Scott. There's a ton of great information in there with example scripts and valuable information about the business of writing. I was able to get a used copy for only two bucks on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out. After writing, we move on to part two, which is record. Usually the executive producer, story editor, and script coordinator attends the recording to give the voice actors direction. This is one of my favorite parts of the pipeline. It's just amazing to see the voice actors work their magic. I was able to attend a few recordings at Nickelodeon and DreamWorks, with my first being during my internship at Nickelodeon. They allow interns to sit in a live recording at least once during their internship. I've been lucky enough to have seen the greats like Rob Paulson, Seth Green, Eric Bauza, and I even provided some Walla or background filler noise for the movies Penguins and Madagascar. If that sounds fun to you, tell me what shows you'd like to sit in for a recording. Leave your comments down below. The third step of the pipeline is boarding. Technically, we're still not done with the recording at this point. So while the voice actors are still working their magic, we also start storyboarding. The storyboard is a visual representation of the script. It includes a ton of panels which bring the script to life. The boarding is helpful to see how the scene will look, where the characters are staged and camera movements. Usually one storyboard artist would handle an episode, but there can be multiple depending on the show. In addition to the storyboard artist, there's also a storyboard revisionist that helps a board artist fill in the gaps between scenes. Once the boards are finished and we have most of the recording from the voice actors, we move on to animatics. This is where the editors collect the storyboards and recordings and puts it all together into an editing program like Adobe Premiere or Avid. Final Cut Pro is less common in the animation industry now unfortunately, so I'd recommend going with Adobe Premiere. The editor will add music and sound effects to the boards and most importantly, they will sit with the directors to figure out the timing of the episode. Timing is very important in animation. The animatics will usually go through four iterations. You have a first animatic, second animatic, a lock animatic, which locks in the time for the duration of the episode. And there's a shipping animatic, which we send to the overseas studio. This is the final version of the animatic, and the overseas studio will handle all the animation. So after we get the animatic, we move on to black and white design. We start with the backgrounds first, since they are usually the biggest and take the longest to complete. These are done by background designers. There's usually around four to five black and white background designers on a show. Then we hand out designs for a new character, special pose. Special poses are those wacky faces you see from a character, like this. The special pose design will help the overseas studio design the character's wacky face to how the executive producer would like it to be. These designs are done by the character designers. 
There's around four character designers on the show. And finally, we'll hand out designs for props and effects. These can be anything from a treasure map to a lightning strike. The prop designers will handle these and there's usually about two designers per series. This is the first part of the animation pipeline for a 2D TV show. Hope you guys found this information helpful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Also, let me know which section of the animation pipeline interests you the most. If you'd like to get notified when part 2 is coming, be sure to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And don't forget to check out my book, How to Get an Animation Internship, and go watch Watch my cartoon with Nickelodeon, The Outsider, which are both linked below. As always, have a great day everyone and stay tuned for the next video.